Good morning, this is Silent Witness. I had to uh, edit out the beginning of this video, and so now I'm replacing it with another introduction. I was already speaking in the rest of it, so if you'll pardon the technical difficulties, please keep watching. Thank you. I am, uh, I've already mentioned before and in my blog that I'm a born-again Christian. And that's the first thing on my mind because I think that's the most important thing that anyone could be. And I realize that many out there are not Christians. But in fact, tend the opposite way. They are atheist, which means that there is, they believe there's no God at all. Or they're agnostic, which means they're not sure if there's a God or not. And then you have the ones that are the New Agers, the ones that believe that they're God, or a God, as it were, which is the majority of folks today. I am not bashing them. I am not condemning them. They have a judge. But their judge will um, carry out their sentence in the future, near future. But the point is, if you, uh, if you want to be saved, I'm here to tell you how to be saved. And that's only, there's only one way to do it. And that means you have to uh, confess that you're a sinner you have to go before God and agree with him that he is righteous and holy and that he sent his son to die in your place. And a little dust there. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's a little messed up. But if you go to him and confess that you're a sinner. And then you uh, believe that he, that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross, and you accept that, you receive it as a free gift, because that's what salvation is, it's a free gift from God, and if you do these three things, you will be saved and you'll be going to heaven. But, um... As for me, I made that decision when I was 14 years old, and it's changed my life forever, and I, there's no way for me to go back because I'm a new creature in Christ, and uh, my job here is to spread the word and to uh, tell people that there is a way to avoid heaven, I'm sorry, to avoid hell, excuse me, <laughs> let's block that part out, to avoid hell and attain heaven. Now there are people that think that you can go to heaven no matter what you do. Being a former Roman Catholic, I used to think that. I used to think that works would earn my way to heaven, and a lot of people think that. But Jesus doesn't save through works. He saves through faith. And if you have the faith of a mustard seed, which is like, like about this, like this, right here, the size of my pinky nail. You see that? That's tiny. And I have big hands, but that's tiny. But if you have that faith to believe that he is the savior of the world and he came to earth to die in your stead so you don't have to go to hell then you will be saved that's the gospel he was he was um he died on the cross he rose from the grave three days later and he is now in heaven interceding for us his uh, children but um you need to get saved 
because the time is running out very quickly. The devil is on a rampage. He's doing everything he can to get people to ignore Jesus Christ or believe that he doesn't exist or that he's a sissy wimp. I've seen so many pictures and so many blasphemous articles and whatnot that claim that Jesus was a wimp and weakling and on the contrary I tell you my friend he is the most powerful being in the world in the universe if you might say because he created everything he created you and me and because we are his creation he wants us to glorify him he wants us to give him glory while we're alive so and we can only do that if we're saved if we're uh, washed in his blood because our names get written down in heaven and we won't ever see hell I know a saying that goes this life is the closest the lost ever get to heaven and this life is the closest the saved ever get to hell now I think that's a very profound statement I might have said it a different way but it has the same meaning I urge you today I urge you strongly with all my heart I would even beg you to be saved today to believe in Jesus Christ as your only way to heaven and that he shed his blood for you because he loves you that much.